Ask Reddit by Gotham Knight 3. Serious, what are realistic ways someone can make $300 minus $1000 a month outside of their day job? Attention, serious, tag notice. Jokes, puns, and off-topic comments are not permitted. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash ask reddit slash wiki slash index hash wiki underscore dash rule underscore six dash closed bracket in any comment parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please, contact the moderators of this subreddit, message compose question mark to equals r ask reddit, if you have any questions or concerns. Call your local car dealerships and ask them if they need drivers. They usually need people to go grab some cars from other dealerships around your state or province during the weekends. They will pay cash and all you need is a driver's license. My dad is retired and he does this when he needs a bit of extra cash. My grandpa did this until a co-worker accused him of stealing something from a car. They argued, grandpa punched him, and that was his retirement story. He said it was a guy who everyone hated, and the guy had followed him around the dealership to keep accusing him. He definitely didn't steal at BTW. Get added to some catering companies on call lists. They'll hit you up when they have larger events and need more staff. Usually pays about $25 minus $30 an hour. Sometimes more in HCOL areas. And you generally get gratuity. There are some apps for this too, one of them is called Quick. Not even kidding, I used to help my mother-in-law shower her mother every Thursday for $50 a day. She had a bingo group, and my name got passed around, and now I have a very real side git cleaning old people, but it's solid money. Jokes aside it's great that you found a way to help a vulnerable population. Dog or cat sitting. I used to do this around twice a month and could make between $300 500 depending on the length of the job. This is perfect if you work from home. One of my friends has his rent covered, dollar sign 1300, by doing this in a HCOL area. Edit, his, lesser, share of rent in a 1BR in Seattle. Sorry for the confusion. Dog walking I make a $1000 a month walking two dogs a day, 20 minutes each, down the street from my house during lunch break. How do you market yourself as a dog walker in the area? I became a notary in my state and take mobile signing whenever I can. I work a normal 9-5 and do loan closings probably two or three times a week. Signing can pay anywhere from $30 an instance to $250 an instance. Wait I am a notary. How do you get on the lists for this kind of thing? Piano tuning. Takes a bit of time to learn, but the hardware is relatively inexpensive, and once you're good at it, you can have a piano tuned in less than 2 hours. Standard pay is between $100 minus $150 per tuning. And in most metro areas, there is more work than there is tuners to do it all. You know, you can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuner. I drive a wealthy old lady who, wisely, no longer wants to drive herself. Once or twice a week and only if I have the time. My fee is $39 per hour. Most of the time she goes to a phys rehab center that's 2 minutes from where I live. I drop her off. She tells me how long she'll be, I go home and faff around on reddit or play with the dogs, and pick her back up again when it's time. Bonus, after her husband passed away, she wanted me to have his wine collection, she doesn't drink. 
I demurred but she insisted, so I took about 175 bottles over the summer. Some of them are worth 4 figures. There was a high school kid with one of those spinning pressure washers that came to my neighborhood and knocked on people's doors and asked if they wanted their driveways pressure washed right then and there for just $50. Didn't take him long and he easily made over $500 in that afternoon. Buddy of mine's son started doing that a few years ago. After a while he started washing houses too, then roofs, last year, after graduation. He took his college savings and bought a truck and a commercial grade machine. Dude started a business at 18 and is cranking out half million dollar contracts with property management companies now. If you live near a university or academic medical center, there are some research studies that pay decently well. One of my buddies did that when she was nearly homeless, couch surfing. She ended up testing one drug for a year. That was the drug that a few years later saved my life. $300? Same as every college kid. Go sell blood plasma twice a month. Maybe not three but up there. I remember those days. My first time, I puked and fainted right on the table. The amount of people staring at me when I woke was incredible. Deliver pizzas in the evenings. I have been pulling in a couple hundred bucks a week delivering pizzas. The dinner rushes on Fridays and Saturdays are particularly profitable. Honestly that doesn't even sound half bad drive around in your own car, not very far. No drunk people much rather do that for a single pizza company than go to a million fast food or restaurants to do Uber Eats. Do you have a skill you can tutor? Many people pay good money for help either with their kids or for college tutoring. Dog walking in HCOL areas pays dollar sign 30 50 slash dog. If you are good at it flipping stuff on Facebook can be very profitable. If you like sports and can handle being yelled at, becoming a ref or umpire is pretty solid. Hockey refs in my area make 50 bucks a game for a hockey and if you get good enough to do any organized games like high school or travel you make more. I would imagine the pay is probably similar for other sports but can't confirm. Yep. Little League pays about the same. They provide a free 1-2 hour training about the rules first. I work at my yoga studio front desk about 5-7 hours a week. Minimum wage but it's a job I love and can do in the evenings with no stress. Plus free yoga. Pretty great idea. You work for the place. They pay human wage, but an additional benefit is basically a free membership. And I know yoga memberships can get pretty expensive depending on the facility. My wife should do this for her pilot's class. It's nearly 200 a month. I work a weekend job in addition to my 9-5. I'm a barista at a local cafe on weekends, 7am noonish. That's usually where the most tips are. But it's easy to get the hours since a lot of people don't like to work weekend mornings. I get out early enough to enjoy my weekend afternoons and evenings, but I do have to be careful about staying out too late. The work is a good balance of fast paced rushes and downtime where I can do crosswords if everything else around the shop is done. Between hourly and tips I usually take home around $800 a month working around 11 hours per week. Coffee is one of my passions and that definitely helps. But I do miss the sleep on weekends. If my next promotion bumps up my 9-5 pay enough I'll probably quit the cafe and reclaim my weekends. I work a 9-5 and then cocktail serve at a comedy club a couple nights a week to drink minimum so people have to spend money and tip. During the week we just have one show so I'm done by 10.30. Weekends are two shows so usually done around midnight, still earlier than if I were to work in a bar. Usually walk with $100 minus $150 per show, plus I get to see tons of comedy, both great and not so great, and it's a fun industry to be involved in. I work my 7 3.30 job then a couple nights a week I work closing shift at a retail store. It's an extra 500 or so a month. Dishwashing. We got two guys that close for us, they make $22 an hour. Three days a week each. 
great side gig, they get free meals and it's not as growing as it sounds. Our dishwasher machine is worth more than my house it feels like. I do 3D printing. It's a niche market and if you can find your foothold, you can do well. I average anywhere from $2.5,000 per month depending on sales and how much I put into it. What is the cost of doing something like that? Do you have multiple printers? I deliver for a mom and pop restaurant that refused to do the app delivery stuff and being in an extra 400 a month for about 4.5 hours of work on a Friday night. Find an after work gig I hosted bar trivia 4 years it paid $75 a session, and each session was about 2.5 hours including setup and cleanup 2 of those a week was $150 a week, $600 a month. A very nice and easy side hustle. If you have any artistic skills, people pay for all types of birthday and party entertainment so if you can make balloon animals or are a magician or paint faces, you can get paid upwards of $125-150 an hour if you are good you can make $600 on an easy weekend. Edit, to clarify, I worked for a company that ran trivia. I did not make all of the questions and get the gear myself. Buy olive oil at Costco and dried spices, bottle it up and sell it for triple the price at farmers markets. Locally sourced. Yeah, bought at the local Costco. Selling shit you've spent years collecting but don't actually want need. That shit adds up. I've made almost $700 the last 3 months doing this. Usually only less one or two items each weekend but have definitely missed a few weekends. Stand outside home depot and hope someone grab you for misc jobs. Prostitution? <laughs>